Hello guys, happy Monday and welcome back to a brand new video. As you all know, today is Makeup Monday, which means we are playing with some makeup. I really wasn't sure what palette I wanted to use because I have so many new ones that I wanted to try, but I really wanted to play today with this Morphe palette. It is called the Brunch Babe palette. Such a gorgeous eyeshadow, super pretty colors, and it has a gigantic mirror right here. I don't want to blind you guys. But I think this is what I'm going to go in with today. We're going to see what we come up with. So if you guys want to get ready with me, do your makeup with me, or just follow along with me. If you guys have this palette, make sure you pop it out now. And let's go ahead and jump straight on to this video. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this eyelid primer. I usually don't like these, but I really just want to try it out. This is the Morphe eyelid primer, which looks like this. It's just a translucent. That's what it looks like. It honestly looks like a primer to me, but we're going to see. And I'm just going to take a regular brush. This is a dirty brush that I probably shouldn't be using, but whatever. So that primer is laid down. I honestly don't feel comfortable just going in with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my concealer and I'm going to use it as a primer. For today's concealer, I'm going to be taking the Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. This is in the shade medium, I believe. It doesn't say on here. It just says the number four. So I'm going to take this. I've been really loving this concealer. It's so lightweight and it does cover imperfections, but it's not like cakey coverage. Oh, that was the messiest I've ever applied concealer. What I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to do my eyebrows. I know that I like, oh my God, you guys, my eyebrows are so grown out. But I'm trying to grow these parts out of my brows because they just don't grow any hair. So all this. So that's why my brows are a little bit hairy. So please excuse them. I'm going to go ahead and do them off camera really quick. And then we can come back and jump straight onto the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to take my first transitional shade, you guys know. I already know. I'm going to take this one right here. This one is called Rezzo. And I'm taking a Morphe brush, M441. And we're applying that all up in the crease. Again, if you have hooded eyes, you want to bring it up a little bit higher. Oh, that color was a little darker than I thought it would be. Yeah. I'm going to try and use this shade right here. I'm going back with a clean brush. This is a Sigma Tapered Blending E40. I'm just going to blend those edges because that shade was too dark at the beginning. So I do need to blend those shades to make it look a little bit less harsh and less dark.
just like a simple brown smoky eye no honey we are adding some glitter so what I'm gonna do is I am taking this elf glitter in the shade bronze comet yes and we're just going to apply that all over the lids honey for my glitter I'm taking this glitz fix by beauty junkies it's literally a uh, glitter glue and I'm gonna take it on a flat little brush what I like to do first is I like to like tap the glitter and then gradually build it that way it's not just like a chunk of glitter on your eye we're going to jump onto the face really quick because i just i just want to get the face done and over with i'm taking the makeup forever ultra hd foundation this is in the shade y405 who else is so ready for halloween I want to know if you guys have already picked out your um, costume, if you guys do dress up. I have no idea what I'm going to dress up as this year. I usually never do really. Growing up, my mom, actually my dad, we grew up in a Christian home, so I am a Christian. I don't like to say that because I don't go to church anymore. I haven't gone to church in such a long time, which is so embarrassing. Growing up Christian, we never really celebrated Halloween. And I've never really been into Halloween again. I think it's for the fact that we just never really celebrated that, you know? And now that I have my daughter, I do take her trick-or-treating because it's like, she's little, you know, she wants to enjoy that. I'm gonna go back with my concealer. Again, I am taking the Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. I'm pretty sure this is the number four. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply to, obviously, where I want to highlight. The ingredients on this fabulous concealer is avocado oil, it has caffeine, it has vitamin E, and it's supposed to be actually really good for your skin. Again, I have been loving it so much. It's very creamy and I don't know, it just looks so pretty underneath the eyes. To bake and set everything with my Milk Makeup Setting Powder. <laughs> I'm just going to blend out underneath the eyes because we want to make sure that we don't have any crease and then we're going to go in and set I really want to try these little powder foundations to set my skin I've had them for a while these are pretty new they they are by JCAT they're called aqua assurance compact foundation and they're literally just a powder foundation. You can use these as full coverage. I've never tried these, so I don't know. We're gonna see. We're gonna see if we can make them work. This one is in the shade Golden Beige. Now I'm gonna take this humongous brush that I picked up from Walmart. It is a bronzer brush, but I'm gonna use it as a setting powder and as a bronzer. I think this is from the brand Equate. It's just like super big and it's pretty heavy. Wow, you guys, this powder is so creamy and so pigmented. It did make my skin a little bit darker than it was. It's just a tiny bit more orange. But honestly, I'm not mad at it. I'm kind of mad that I hadn't used it before. But this is setting my skin so beautifully. Like, my skin looks pretty flawless, okay? <laughs> I had to change my shirt because I just went in and ate and... I got dirty <laughs> we're gonna move on to bronzing the skin I've been meaning to show this product to you guys because I've been really really loving it this is also by morphe and no this is not sponsored by morphe morphe no none of that anyway I'm gonna take the bronzer this one I think it's called I don't know I'm not gonna try and pronounce it because honestly I don't know but again I'm taking that big fluffy bronzy uh, brush we're just going to bronze up the skin. fluffy brush honestly whatever you have works and we're just going to start blending and digging back into the pil the pellets the palette I'm taking the shade whipped cream 
which is this one right here and I'm applying that to the inner corners of the eyes. I really want everything to pop and come together and for me, the inner corner eyeshadow is pretty much like the icing on top of the cake. I'm going to apply my mascara. This is the Milk Kush Mascara. I've been loving this one so much, especially for my bottom lashes. Oh, it is perfect. I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighting Powder in the shade Written in the Stars, which is part of like their Zodiac collection, I think. I picked this up at Walmart not too long ago, and it's such a gorgeous shade. I almost wish that it was a little bit more golden because it does have pink and gold, like white undertones, but it's still such a pretty highlight. Ooh, I applied too much. Oh girl, I applied way too much. But do you guys see that? Like, boom, boom, boom. We are demon. Okay, let's finish off the lips. I am taking the Italian lip liner in brown. A little trip that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys want to make your lips look a little bit bigger, what I like to do is I like to go under where my lip naturally ends. Not too much. And I just kind of curve it. That way when your lips are resting, they're going to seem like they're a little bit more pouty. For my lipstick, I really want a really pretty ombre on my lips. So I'm going to take this CoverGirl lipstick in Dulce de Leche. And it's a really, really, really light color. But mixed together with this lip liner, it's going to look so pretty. <laughs> I know this looks scary, but trust me, it's all going to come together once we blend it. See how now it looks like a pretty ombre lip and not just crazy. We're going to set everything in place. I'm taking the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. It feels like I'm, I've been using a lot of Morphe and I probably did. And this is probably the most I've ever used Morphe products in one video. But yeah, we're just going to set this so we can be nice and set and snatched. And there you have it guys, this is the finished look on this Morphe Brunch Babe palette with some glitter, super... I'm getting interrupted again. Ooh, Vogue, ooh, get it, girl, ooh, ah, yeah, show me that, ooh, you nasty, ooh. <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed another fall makeup tutorial. And I am not stopping, okay? Every Monday, I'm going to bring out more and more, more and more makeup tutorials. Thank you, ladies or guys and everybody for joining me in today's Makeup Monday. I love you so much with all my heart. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.